Pickles are guys in Jamaica and YouTuber. Talking about the lies foreigners tell to other foreigners in Japan. Pickles are guys in Jamaica and YouTuber. Ikimashu! Well, go on, people. Welcome back to my channel, Pickles the Guy, the Jamaican YouTuber. If it's the first time clicking on one of my videos, make sure to hit the notification bell to know when new videos are released. Okay. Also, subscribe, share, and like, and comment on this video. Now, foreigners, all lend me your ears. Come hither, so I may speak the truth and bring balance to the force. You see, we out here BSing a lot, and I must reveal the things that foreigners lie about to other foreigners. And sometimes it's quite embarrassing. <laughs> it's gonna be a bit spicy! So, if it offends you, well, I don't give a flying blooming Sakura blossom about how you feel about this video right now. Although, please like it, subscribe, and share, right? Good. Now, one of the things foreigners in Japan tend to lie about to other foreigners is their Japanese level. Whether it's really good or really bad or somewhere in between. Yes, Japan has a culture of underselling their talents or being humble or showing humility. However, you have some foreigners here in Japan that go a bit too far with the humility thing. Which I guess it's something, oh I can't speak Japanese, but then they can tell you your name, address, phone number, tell you what you had for dinner, all in perfect grammar and intonation and pronunciation. Then you have the others, their accent is really trash. And I mean, when I mean by trash, they're like, oh, let me handle this. Watashi wa adowaro desu. So, sore wa desu ne, sore wa kawaii desu. Bro. That is the most trash Japanese I've ever heard. But you can't say that, but you let them speak, let them hang their self. Kore wa hitotsu desu, kore hoshi desu, hoshi. Yeah, my Japanese is perfect, you know what I mean? I'm like, oh, okay buddy. It sounds really bad and cringy to the Japanese ear. That's like when the Japanese say, uh, my name is uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, Shota. I want to uh, 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 talk English to you. It's That's how it sounds to me and uh. And also, about reading kanji, you know, oh yeah, I, oh I can read Japanese. And these homies would be there, uh, sounding out words like, I can't read, looking dumbass. Don't, don't fake it with that. Don't fake it, don't lie about it, it's okay. If you don't understand Japanese, it's fine. No one is going to judge you, except the person around you, not me. So most foreigners that work in Japan usually get their visa through teaching in English, whether as a Kaiwa teacher or as an ALT with, with whichever company or the government JET program, right? Cool. The others either come to study, to lecture, to be software developers, engineers, marketers, whatever, but they have some level of Japanese. Others, artists, musicians, DJs, whatever. Now, I want to talk to you about the DJs because, not because you have virtual DJ on a computer or Serato and because you buy the equipment means you're a DJ and you have a Beats by Dre headphones. No, it's not about an image alone. It's about actually DJing and mixing. Some of these DJs I've heard at parties can't even mix Kool-Aid fam. They cannot even mix colors, red and blue to make purple because they're trash. So please stop lying that you're a DJ. Please stop lying that you're an artist. Please stop lying about where you work because is that on? It's not on. And on that note, a lot of foreigners in Japan lie about who they know or who knows them or how well they know somebody. Not because you follow them on Instagram or on Twitter and you have a few casual conversations meaning you actually know the person. Adam knew Eve and we got Kane. Esau knew Jacob. You know what I mean? Kim Kardashian knew Ray J. Okay? Not that type of new or no, but that's fine. If you don't know them, it's okay. Don't do it for clout. Clout is one of the worst drugs ever invented fam. Clout is going to kill us all after the corona. But what I'm saying is, guys, to be honest, <laughs> if you don't know the person, where you are life at? Some do it because countries that they're from have certain stigmas or certain stereotypes associated with them or they just want to fit in with the crowd, I guess. For me, I'm Jamaican. Many Japanese think Jamaica is in Africa, which is, you know, whatever, fine. I guess all black people come from one place. When, when if we think about it, all races came from Africa, but that's something we don't want to get into for this video. What I'm saying is I've had the experience of certain people trying to claim being Jamaican. And by claiming to be Jamaican, I mean, it's fine and good, but then you misrepresent our brand and our country and our culture. Where your life at? And then, you know, you give a bad impression and I don't like that. I've actually had the experience of speaking to a person from a particular country and they asked me where I'm from. I said, oh, I'm from Jamaica. Where are you from? Yeah, man, I'm from Jamaica too. 
And when I asked them, like, so where in Jamaica are they from? They said they didn't want to tell me that. Where your life at? This home guy was just trying to get in with the girls at the party who love dance or music and real culture, but he didn't know the capital of Jamaica or where he was from in Jamaica. And the accent was from a particular continent, which I won't talk about. People around the world lie about this all the time, but in Japan in particular, especially when you're married to a Japanese person, here in Japan, you can't hide that ish. People out here acting like they're single like a Pringle, when there's a whole damn tin of Pringles in that tin. People out here acting single like a shingle, when there's a whole damn roof with them. These people are hiding whole families out here, man. Where your life at? Whole husbands out here, man. Where your life at? Whole wives out here, man. Whole children and kids and grandparents out here, man. And acting single. And then when I act like they want you to pay their bills for them, you know, and while they're dating them. Please give us the option to say, yes, we are dating you and we know you're married rather than trying to act like we're in a whole damn relationship, having a whole damn family starting our own self, trying to have whole damn, ro oh, whoa, 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 whoa. PTSD, sorry guys flashback yeah so yeah don't lie about relationship status tell people if you're married or not and they can decide whether or not they want to pursue this path of destruction another thing foreigners tend to lie about in japan is <laughs> their dating life here in regards to japanese men and japanese women no i mean yes all right, yes, there tends to be a narrative here about dating in Japan that Japanese women are like close pin, you touch their head and they open their legs pretty much. Yeah, for some people that's true, for some it's not that, you know. Others don't have that sort of experience and that's fine. You don't have to lie about your attraction to Japanese people if you're over here. If you don't like Japanese women or Japanese men, that's, that's cool, no one gives a shit, man. Like who you like, you know, but don't belittle others who like something different, you know what I mean? That's really the thing. You don't have to lie about having sex with many Japanese women if you only had sex with one Japanese woman fine you don't have to lie about the fact that you know japanese men are this and that because you know frankly most people don't really care they just want to get their, get their coins get their butter and get on with their life and have a good time you don't need to lie about that dating in japan people really don't give a crap fam we might use it for a reference for a little bit you know say hey you know do you know about this oh great good bam. can you recommend a good spot yeah sure but we don't need a whole lecture and a whole facade of you being oh you know the japanese culture here we really shouldn't be doing this you know if you want to get it you gotta go to kyoto to get that real matcha you want a real matcha you gotta go to kyoto eat that matcha you know what i'm saying get that matcha right you get that real tea no it's okay it's not that serious but if that's how you want to live your life live your life you know what I mean? But guess what? Don't take life too seriously, guys, because no one gets out alive. That's a fact. Because you have a particular experience doesn't mean that somebody else will have that type of experience in Japan. Some people experience discrimination, some people don't. Some people had a wonderful experience at Hanami, some have a horrible experience at Hanami. Everyone's experience is different, so don't try to lie about something and then end up looking like a real fool. Because people will know who have been here, will know when you're BSing your way through life. Eek! Yeah, Hanami is one of the best times to be in Japan, but this year it's cancelled, so you have to wait until next year. Yeah, sorry about that. You know, people talk about going to the onsen. I have a friend that goes to the onsen all the time, like every weekend, because it's so relaxing. But me, Pickles the Gaijin, never been to onsen. Don't want to go to onsen because I'm not going to swim around in a ball stew. No, I'm not about that life. I am not about that life. But those are some of the things foreigners lie about in Japan to other foreigners. Tell me what you think they lie about in the comments down below. Please subscribe, like, share, and I'll see you in the next video. Pickles the Gaijin, Jamaican YouTuber. Ikiba Show! Wow, that was intense.